And for my next trick, Now down to business. Hey, that guy's initials get everywhere. Keep a low profile and keep your... Hey, it's jammed stuck. That's impossible. Oh, there must be an easier way to save the world. It's not my type. host, Grant Spatula! Hey, hey, I love you, I love you, I love you all! Please, please, you're too kind. 
Well, in a spleen wobbling show tonight, we have an extra special mystery guest. A mystery guest so awesomely wonderful that I am almost unworthy to share the same stage. But for the sake of your delectation and entertainment, ladies and gentlemen, I am prepared to take that risk. But first, a reminder of the rules for all you herring tyros. Hidden deep within the bowels of Television Center hides the mystery owner of tonight's herring. Guess his or her identity from two simple clues, and by phoning this toll-free number, you, our noble viewer, could win this genuine antique That's My Herring Cuckoo Clock that we had made last week. So without further ado, let's play That's My Herring! And now the first clue. Slugs and snails and potted meats are an ontological banquet. And the second clue. Green grows the grass after a crepuscular discourse. Well, I'm sure that's made everything perfectly clear. So ring now on this number with your answer. I'll be waiting for your call. Hey, now I can order pizza on the move. Hey, that sounds surreal. Well, we still haven't identified our mystery guest despite some very good guesses. Were our clues too difficult? Surely not for such a gorgeously talented audience. So come on, ring in you lovely people. I'll be waiting for your call. Aha! A caller on line 10. Hello there, oh wonderful viewer. Can you identify our mystery guest? Sure can, Grunt. It's Olaf Particle, prom wrestler extraordinaire. Hey, hey, hey! The young sir is cogitated correctly and identified tonight's mystery guest. So welcome, Olaf Particle, and thank you, my sagacious contestant. Your prize is on its way. Hey, where'd the cuckoo go? Hey, I know you guys. You're famous world leaders. That's right, son. That's us for sure. When did Tate do this? He snuck up on his son just last night. All the world leaders? Every last one of us, son. And then what? We've been cloned, son. Right down to the last rhinestone. Cloned using the professor's machine? Uh-huh. And now there's a pretender to my throne out there. Well, I can't do anything just yet, but I'll be back. Hey, Prof, I found a way into Tate's place. Good. Show me. Hey, 
Hey, Prof, your antique slide rule's digging into me again. That's not my antique slide rule, bud. Whoa, this is some place Tate's got here. Yeah, it is impressive. A pity we have so little time. I would have enjoyed exploring. Okay, Prof, what do we do now? We need to find the world leaders and the duotonic replicator. I suggest that we split our resources. Okay. Yeah, I suggest that we cut ourselves in half and build cybernetic components to replace those bits we are missing. Or we could just split up. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Okay, I'll go this way. Okay, catch you later. Yeah, whatever. That's impossible. Hey, Prof, found anything cool? Yeah! I have found Tate! Okay, so what do we do? I have a plan. Cool, what is it? I have designed a trap to capture Tate. All right. Yeah, here, take this. It is a list of components I need to build my trap. I'll get right onto it, Prof. When you find the items, bring them back here. No problem. Later. This should help me find my way around. Sorry, I can't do that. Sorry, I can't do that. Hey, it's the bogus baker. Hey, it's the schmuck with the face. I need help to save the world. Yeah, sure you need help, but oh, to save the world? Sure, but but it's a long story. Do you have anything on this list? Mm, a match? Sure. Your face and weak old bread. A bowling ball? You think this is a bowling alley? No, I ain't got nothing. You can see my shelf's a bear. I'm sure you've got something. I've got nothing. Business is bad. The only thing I have in the world is my commemorative frying pan. Well, I could probably use that. Who said you could have it? It's got sentimental value. Could I swap something for it? Not for all the bagels in New York. Well, it was worth trying. Hey, it's the bogus baker. Hey, it's the schmuck with the face. Look, baker, I need your frying pan. Did I say you could have it? Okay, you asked for it. Big greasy baker makes big greasy donuts. So it's my speciality. You know, I fed one of your cakes to the ducks. They sank. Yeah, they were probably trying to get away from your haircut. Hey, Baker. Your dough's all soggy. Soggy? 
Soggy, I don't have to take this. Take that, and don't darken my door again. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, there must be an easier way to save the world. Hi guys, Bud Tucker's the name and pool's my game. Yeah, well, push off, bloodsucker. Yeah, push off, bloodsucker. Hey, why the hostility? Chill out, I'm only trying to be friendly. It don't pay to be friendly around here, kid. Right, no good to be friendly. Why not? You got put in a loony bin, like my pal here. What happened? Bath worked in hospital garden. Queen visited the hospital to look at flowers. Garden famous for nice flowers. Queen tell Bath he not crazy and flowers are lovely. Queen promised Bath a pardon. So, what went down? The Queen did. What? The Queen told Bath that he looked after the garden so well he should receive a pardon. She shook his hand and walked away. That's when he threw the brick. What brick? The brick that hit the queen on the back of the head. <laughs> back good shot. She turned around and Biff said, You won't forget, will you? He's nuts. Don't talk about my friend like that. Hit him, Bath. Hitting him, Biff. Sorry guys, my mistake, you're both nuts! <gasps>